North Korea this morning launched eight short-range ballistic missiles toward the East Sea, the most it's launched at one time so far this year. They were launched, according to South Korea, successively from 9.08 this morning until 9.43. Shin ye has the details. North Korea on Sunday fired eight short-range ballistic missiles towards the East Sea. According to South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, at least some of the missiles were fired from the Sunan district of Pyongyang, where the regime has its main airfield. The South Korean military is currently analyzing the missile's trajectory. Sunday's launch came just a day after South Korea and the U.S. wrapped up a three-day joint naval exercise in waters off Okinawa in a demonstration of the strength of their alliance and their joint defense capabilities. Other missile tests by the North this year have also come after Allied military drills or talks. Less than two weeks ago, on May 25th, Pyongyang fired a suspected ICBM and two apparent short-range ballistic missiles into the East Sea. That was just a day after U.S. President Joe Biden left Korea, following a summit with President Yoon song yeol in which they agreed to strengthen the Allies' defenses. South Korea's military is also on high alert for the North to conduct what would be its seventh nuclear test. Satellite imagery has shown work underway at the regime's main nuclear test site. And leader Kim Jong-un himself said in March that he's been ramping up the North's nuclear program so that the weapons can be used at any time. South Korea's National Security Adviser Kim Song Han convened the Standing Committee of the NSC to discuss the latest missile launch. If necessary, President Yoon is reportedly going to chair a full meeting of the NSC himself for the second time since he took office last month. Shin Yeun, Arirang News.